Welcome to this introductory video on learning experience design in the foundation phase and how we think about learning experiences in the Faculty of Education at the University of Pretoria. If you think about it, a learning experience is any experience in which learning takes place. But that learning should be engaging, relevant and meaningful for the learners who are exposed to such an experience. The Glossary of Education Reform refers to learning experiences as the kind of learning that takes place not only in traditional environments and settings such as the classroom, but also non-traditional environments. That means it could be learning that is included at home, in the city, in the natural environment, in school as well. Learning experience also considers traditional as well as non-traditional interactions when learning. This means that not only does learning take place in interaction with a teacher, but children also learn when they engage with one another, with their parents and with other so in other social learning experiences. The use of the term learning experience is meant to reinforce the goal that education is about learning rather than its location or its format. It is also meant to update conceptions of how learning takes place and where learning occurs. Mainly, the primary goal in thinking about the design of learning experiences is to remind us that the principal or primary figure in this learning experience is the learner rather than the teacher. And the learner should be central to the design of any experience in which learning should take place. Learning experiences consists of at least three phases. There is the preparation phase in which the teacher has to consider what kind of experiences learners or children have encountered not only in class or in school, but in their daily lives that learners could draw on as preparation before they encounter the teacher. The engagement phase is the second phase and in this phase the teacher will be planning how to actively engage learners during the teacher's encounter with these learners and using prior experiences from various settings that learners have had to enable them to engage with the content. This means that the teacher not only prepares and plans for the engagement phase that happens in class, but also will actively design the learning experience to create opportunities for learners to learn outside the classroom and prior to the encounter with the teacher so that they can be optimally prepared to engage during the encounter with the teacher in the foundation phase. After the engagement phase has taken place the third and final phase is the consolidation phase. And the consolidation phase need not only happen in a traditional setting, but can also involve the design of learning activities in which the teacher create further experiences for children to be able to consolidate their learning. These learning experiences, again, do not happen only in the classroom, but can also be designed to take place outside the classroom in other settings that may not necessarily be traditional settings. Now you know what a learning experience is, but what does that mean to a foundation phase teacher? As a foundation phase student, you can view a learning experience as either a theme or a plan. It could even be a program or a topic. It's the experiences that you plan based on your learner's prior knowledge and their background. Remember, when planning your learning experience, you need to ensure that it has at least three learning encounters. Those encounters or where you as the teacher are directly involved. 
there are no prerequisite number of learning encounters that you have to plan for. Just make sure that you incorporate different subjects into your learning encounters and learning experiences. But what exactly is a learning encounter in the foundation phase? Well, you can view it as a traditional lesson or as the phase within a lesson or as a singular activity. It could even be multiple activities. Here is an example. On Monday, you introduce learners to the new themes vocabulary. This is life skills but then they also have to do word building with those words and finally write sentences with those words, which is our language. When planning your learning experiences, be creative, take initiative, and remember to work learner-centered. Enjoy and good luck.